All right, how's it going, everyone? This is Steve coming back, and I am doing a second video for you, as I promised. Uh, it's been uh, last week. I did a, a, a voiceover video for you regarding using chaos magic and sigils uh, in education, such as like if you were in a math or science student and you're looking to try to include magic and sigils and stuff like that in, in your educational um, practice or uh, regimen. Um, I did promise that I was going to do one for art students, and this is what this uh, content is going to be here. So I'm going to be touching a little bit on that. Before we do that, though, I want to go ahead and help sponsor this channel, um, The Far Side of Midnight hosted by Roderick Z, good friend of mine. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, uh, on different subjects, uh, necromancy, grave work, um, Luciferianism, all types of chaos magic. Uh, he has a great number of guests on his channel. Um, and I do encourage you to go ahead and check him out. Go ahead and uh, follow the link that I have here for you. To his Facebook page. Uh, he's on Anchor Podcast, Google, Spotify, uh, Apple, and he's just finding other channels and other pod, uh, other other uh, networks that he can get into to um, expand his podcast. Show him some love if you like the subjects uh, that are being talked about there, and go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And I appreciate that for you. All right, and. All right, folks, the next channel I want to go ahead and promote to you is the Chaos Vibration. Uh, Chaos Vibration is hosted by a good friend of mine, Damon James, both Roderick Z from Far Side of Midnight, Damon James, myself, and a number of, of other people are part of a group called Lords of Chaos. And uh, on Damon James' channel, he does get into the topic of chaos magic and uses it in a variety of different ways. Uh, if you simply just want another uh, perspective on how chaos magic can help you um, in whatever it is that you're looking uh, to achieve, uh, go ahead and check out his channel. Again, if you like the content that he's putting out, I do encourage that you subscribe and uh, like his channel, all right? All right, folks, and as I stated before, this episode is a spinoff of the last episode that I did in the last voiceover where I discussed a subscriber's question on how um, cast magic and uh, other types of sigil magic can be used to help benefit a student that's involved in math, engineering, and sinuses. However, this particular one is going to affect the area of arts and inspiration. So there is a bit of a, a little bit of a spill over here in subject matters, but this list is also going to be a bit longer because you do find that there are a lot more sigils out there, as well as angels that affect the areas of art, such as uh, inspiration, um, performance art, music, writing, um, all that type of stuff is going to, you're going to find more of that, excuse me, particularly when you're dealing with angels. Now, this is not, of course, a comprehensive list or all, excuse me, an all comp, uh, comprehensive list. Um, there are, is lots more content out there, of course. And I also want to go ahead and state that I have omitted the book Demons of Magic by Gordon Winterfield at this point. Uh, I find that there are a fair number of beginners that when you're looking into getting into something like cast magic, or just the idea of magic practice in general, that some people are just kind of like testing it out a little bit and wanting to see where it goes. And sometimes working with the notion of working with demons um, early on in a magical career or a magical setting um, is not very forthcoming for a lot of people. But with that said, there are actually a fair amount of demons that can be contacted in Demons of Magic or in other uh, grimoires and other books that can and are useful in arts and creativity inspiration. So if that's something that you want to get into after 
uh, point in time, you might want to look into tapping into um, that that energetic side of magic that um, may bring, we'll say, a different type of creativity and inspiration um, to whatever type of art that you're performing. And with that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the action here. All right, so first and foremost, we are going to mention Sigils of Power and Transportation, I'm sorry, Transformation <laughs> by Adam Blackthorne, uh, published by Gallery of Magic in January 2017. Adam Blackthorne does present a practitioner with over 111 pre-designed sigils that can be used and transform, I'm sorry, that can be used to transform your life in a variety of areas, particularly when you're dealing with arts and inspiration um such as what we're dealing with here these sigils are broken down to a, a great number of categories including health magic employment magic magic of the mind uh inspirational magic etc the book does contain over 313 pages and is available in printed paperback and kindle format okay um the areas that i'm kind of again touching on and as i said this is a, a not an all inclusive uh, list uh, depending on your situation you may find other sigils that benefit you for your situation of course um, but in the area of breakthrough magic I do want to bring your attention to the sigil to discover creative talents now if some people there comes a time in their life that they feel like they have an urge to be creative and i would say that a lot of people are whether or not that creativity actually leads to something productive and meaningful and wonderful for us um is you know yet to be seen sometimes that creativity is short-lived and in, in some people while in others it's you know something that they really go for for like their entire career okay but um it is uncertain, however, where to apply it. If it does come to a point where it's uncertain where you want to apply your concentration or where you should be applying your concentration and your creativity, this sigil can help you with that particular area. Okay, so if you're truly undecided with, you know, where your talent should be, such as, you know, should I be a singer or should I be a, you know, should I take my juggling act to like Las Vegas, you know, um, the sigil can kind of help direct you um, in a way where your focus should be. Now, how that works um, is kind of up in the air. You might get a, a feeling or, you know, um, uh, inspiration or somebody may come into your life that begins talking about singing or talking about juggling or whatever. And, you know, it, you know, or again, whatever area that is that you're, you know, looking to focus in. And, you know, you might get an idea to, like, go ahead and run with it at that point. Um, I'm not going to say that it's, you know, good or bad. Uh, each individual is their own, of course. Um, also, in the area of breakthrough magic, uh, the sigil to improve creative inspiration is something that you might want to look at. Uh, regardless of what area you're in, creative inspiration um, is sometimes hard to, you know, hard to come by. Sometimes we just have points in our life that um it's you know hard to get a project or an idea off the ground focusing on this sigil um early on in your uh in your production period can help with unleashing that creative potential within you to get that project going um the next ones i want to include which i I have to admit, I originally did not include these, uh, the first at first, but as I kind of thought about it, um, one in particular one that stands out and I'll get to that. Uh, the first, the, actually the first two or the two that I think are going to be important for you are going to be, um, the sigil to be noticed by people of importance. When you are an artist, especially if you're like a performance artist, this is going to be important because that can mean the difference between finding the right people that can help you with 
you know, your production career as a, say a performance artist or the right, um, maybe art studio or venue that, you know, to help you know, advertise your, your paintings or something like that, uh, you know, for you to get noticed a little bit more. So this is important. You don't want to leave this counter by chance, you know, that, um, you, you know, you just might be found. So when you're dealing with people of importance that can have a very definite impact on your artistic career and your artistic future, using this sigil will help you get noticed by those people. It does help by giving you a little bit more of a charismatic edge in the process, which kind of helps tip the scales for you. You obviously do have to do the work and um, really get your uh, your point or your message across in that, in that particular sense. So it's going to require you to do a little bit more, but it's going to kind of help you in the process as well. So go with that. Um, again, for performance artists particularly, or just artists in general, when you're looking to communicate a message across, that's very, very important. Um, as artists, we have a tendency to kind of have a message behind you know, the, the musical composition that we wrote or uh, the artistic composition that we produced, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever that may be, whether it be poetry or painting or writing or something like that, there's always some type of message buried in, in our project, right? So when you're looking to communicate to a group, and this is, again, very good for like a performance artist, um, who's say a musician, um, you want that career to be, you want, you want those ideas to be heard. You want that message to be heard to your audience. So make sure that, um, you use this particular schedule communication to a group, um, to help you out. You may want to also use communication to communicate clearly that is an option. Um, it may be more of, uh, but what the difference between the two is communi communicating clearly to someone and communicating to a group are two different things because communicating clearly uh, is based on a one-to-one -one conversation. Okay, so um, again, you might want to pair that with the one I spoke to, I just mentioned previously, to be noticed by people of importance. Again, you want that message to come across as clearly as possible to them. Um, I would pair those two together. And then, of course, as I said, if you're like a performance artist or um, just trying to get the message across in your artwork, you just communicate to a group. All right, and the next book I'm going to be talking about is The 72 Angels of Magic by Damon Brand, uh, published by Damon Brand, one of the authors to the Gallery of Magic in February 2016. Uh, the 72 Angels of Magic does provide the practitioner with over 300 powers that can be used to access various angelic beings. The book does contain over 203 pages and is available in printed format and Kindle edition. Um, again, when I listed the uh, angels in this section, uh, I do want to point out that I kind of grouped some of them together based on similar powers okay, or abilities. Uh, these similarities uh, do differ in subtle ways, but is uh, best to understand, and this is best to understand how the angel can help you or will help you in your process so that you don't, uh, so you choose the best uh, angel possible for your need so let's go ahead and jump into each of those angels i will describe uh how they work in in, in the manner that they work <coughs> and then uh, we'll go from there i do um <coughs> maybe one moment here I do want to apologize. I have a little bit of chest congestion here, so uh, I'm trying to work through that. Uh, the first angel we're going to talk about is Lee Lael, 
and Leela L does help to attract fame through talent. Okay, if you are looking to become more famous through a particular talent, you can call on this angel. Okay, he does not improve your career, however, but he will make you better known for your particular skill set, your particular talent. Okay, uh, inspiration for artists is another uh, power that Leela, Leela L does assist with, and if you're looking to experience, or I'm sorry, if you're um, experiencing a lack of inspiration, <laughs> uh, calling on this angel will help you to think a little more creatively and experimentally. Uh, the one thing I do want to point out to you is that Leela L and Nitu L have similar powers but Nituel does work, again, a little bit differently. Le Le uh, I'm sorry, Nituel brings fame to artists and writers, uh, which is um, a little bit different. And I will cover uh, Nituel in just a bit. Okay, the next angel is Lavia. Okay, Lavia does have the power to find fame through talent. Don't confuse this with a power that is similar to Leela L, which is to help to attract fame through talent. Okay, there's a little bit of difference there. Uh, for Lavia, to help you, you must already be recognized by people for your talent. Whereas... Um, and this is other than family and friends, okay? You, like, you have to be known maybe like in your community uh, for that particular skill set that you're, that you're looking to get known for. So Lavia will help you to get recognized by a wider audience and help you find more recognition. It is best to use uh, Lavia when you are releasing new content or a new project, though. The next angel is Lav um, Lavelle, okay? Uh, Lavelle does provide the power to create music. So musicians, you need help to create, uh, you want help to create new compositions. This angel can help you in discovering new ways to compose music and or it may inspire you to make um, greater creative decisions um, in the type of music or how you compose your music. Uh, Lavelle also does assist with the power to perform music. So when you're performing music, this angel does help you to give an inspired performance. Uh, it's best to invoke this angel prior to entering the recording studio. However, it is best used prior to any type of live performance before an audience. And if you can actually pair Lavelle with that sigil that we spoke about before, uh, communicate to a group, um, again, you're, you're performing inspiring music, then using the two together will help in that sense. You, of course, as a chaos magician, as a magical practitioner, have to figure out how you're going to integrate, obviously, that sigil and Lavelle together. And that just happens to be part of the creative process as being uh, involved in chaos magic. Okay, I also do want to point out that uh, Lavelle is, uh, does provide a different, Type of situation as today the angel uh, Ani, um, I'm sorry, Aniel. Okay, Aniel provides the magician the power to create art and music, whereas uh, Lavelle is providing the power to perform music. So that's again two different areas there. Uh, Yi Giritel, sorry, is uh, the next angel. The power, uh, he does provide the power to write well. 
you do want to use this when you are looking to uh, write things like school papers, blog posts, um, anywhere you need to communicate an idea with pre uh, precision. Um, this can also be directed into general writing or to a particular project you have in mind. Yeritel yeah, also does help with one to find fame through writing. So if you already are a writer or you already write well, and this uh, this angel can help to make your writing more popular. Okay, so however, you already do need to be distributing your material through an outlet already. So if you're like you have yeah, uh, e log or ebook or a blog or you uh, put stories into traditional print um, in some, uh, some manner, this angel can help um, you become more popular through those channels that you distribute your publications through. Finally, this angel also does provide the power to spread knowledge through writing. So if you're looking to spread a certain type of knowledge, like if you're a journalist, um, you want more people to um, read your article, for instance, or this angel can help uh, make this easier for you as far as uh, the writing process. Uh, it is best used to use this angel when you're looking to spread the information. Again, this can be through like local protests, uh, through a press release, a new product or an advertising, or you're looking to advertise your services, or again, um, you're looking to you know spread it through like a publication then this angel is going to be the one that you want to use for those writing needs uh, Veshiria is the angel you do want to use to empower artists okay uh, that is kind of important a lot of artists have sometimes a way of kind of relinquishing their artistic control over to other people uh, if they're not careful. You want, to be, you want to make sure that you keep this angel on your side, not just to improve your skills, but to make sure that you remain in control of your artistic career and that somebody is not controlling your artistic career for you. Okay. Um, so again, make sure that you are in control of your artistic career rather than being controlled by others okay, when you are networking and uh, making business connections and getting yourself recognized it is very important to keep this angel on your side so that you remain control of your artistic work and your artistic choices and so that other people aren't playing you and we did mention about uh, Aniel before. Okay, Aniel does have the power to create helps in creating good fiction. And there are several angels out there that do help with improving the writing process in general. However, Aniel uh, does help with your ability to write good fiction. So if you are a fiction writer, tapping into this angel, invoking this angel on a regular basis can help to improve your general story writing ability or it can be directed towards um, a specific project that you have in mind. Anio also does help with the power to create art and music. Again, I mentioned this before. Um, they do not, uh, this particular angel will not only inspire you but to direct you to opportunities that will help you get your art to be shared and seen by others and this does help with your creativity to be seen by others and uh, which is also helpful early on in your uh, career as an artist Yezel uh, this particular angel does assist with getting your writing published. So if you're having a situation where you haven't been able to get any of your 
written work published before then this is the angel that you want to use for that. Okay, this angel can help to open the pathways to getting published without having to go through traditional publishing methods. Uh, how does that work? I haven't had to invoke that particular angel before, but again, uh, if you invoke them, again, you're going to end up finding some type of inspiration or something is going to you know, pop out, pop out at you or whatever. And, you know, you might be required to run with a certain idea. So, uh, again, if you're wanting to get published and you haven't been able to up to this point, invoke this angel and, you know, see what happens. Uh, Nituel, I did mention this angel before. Again, this angel brings fame to artists and writers. And this angel does that by helping you to bring more recognition to your artistic work, especially early on in your career. He also does help your work in being found, recognized, and appreciated. And finally, we are going to end with Pa'iel. Uh, this angel does have the three following abilities. Help you to obtain any desire, increase fame and fortune, as well as bring fame through talent. Uh, when I ended this, Pauliel is the 56th angel of the 72 listed in the book. There are going to be other angels in there that you may want to check out. As I said, this is not a um, an all comprehensive list. So uh, go ahead and check out the, check out the book and uh, see what the angels of magic can do for you. All right, the third book and the fourth book are going to be the same pretty much as in my last voiceover uh, that I did. Uh, first one is being Success Magic by Damon Brand, published in March of 2020. By the Gallery of Magic, Success Magic does give the reader the opportunity to invoke the hidden powers of Enochian rituals. Uh, they, For those of us who are familiar with Enochian magic, most systems of Enochian magic are generally long and complex. They're, they can be difficult to understand, difficult to navigate, and in some cases report, require special tools um, in order to perform those rituals, all of which chaos magic um, helps to simplify. Okay? The gallery magic has simplified the process so that the chaos magician can simply tap into the Nokia magic system with ease and reap the benefits without having to have long complicated rituals and all sorts of props and whatnot that generally come with the Nokia magic. Um, absolutely anybody and every person can benefit from the success magic book regardless of what career you're in. There are 234 pages in the book and this is available in printed format and Kindle format. And finally, we're going to discuss uh, Magical Destiny, um, which is published by Damon Brand in October 2021. I do want to point out that this is the final book that the Gallery of Magic will be releasing uh, after 2022 begins, they are supposed to become a private group. And to my understanding, they are not supposed to be releasing any further content at that point. Um, so if you are looking to experience the power of your Holy Guardian Angel, I do recommend this book. This will help you guide through, help to guide you through the process of making contact with your Holy Guardian Angel empowering you and supporting you in whatever uh, endeavors that you seek in the future. It does contain 142 pages and is printed in paper format and Kindle format. Now, I do want to point out that I just recently uh, picked up this book and I am going through the process. Uh, my good friend Roderick Z from the far side of midnight um, has had this book since October and has been slowly going through the process himself. Uh, he 
does say that it's it's very good up to this point and um it does have a lot of uh depth to it okay there are other books on the market i believe one by the name of uh holy damon i forget the author who provides that uh who has uh release that book but uh between the two uh roderick has says that um this is really just a more simplified version of holy damon okay and let's face it not everybody has you know a long has the ability to perform uh a ritual for five months or six months you know whatever the process is um that other books put out there for getting in contact with you know your holy guardian angel um he has recommended this book up to this point uh, again he loves it up to this point and is seeing a, g a good amount of results so this is one of the reasons why i'm putting this book on on this list okay anybody can benefit from uh, contacting their holy and guardian angel and um, making a uh, friendship with them or a connection with them so i do encourage you to go ahead and look into this book as well and those are going to be my four books for recommendations regarding using chaos magic to benefit your uh student career wherever it may be uh, again i do encourage you to check out the chaos vibration channel with damon james uh, we recently had done i believe it was almost a three hour discussion uh, for his channel uh, myself roderick z and damon james uh, he had interviewed uh, Roderick and myself and uh, you know regarding our recommendations as, as well as you know our experience using gallery of magic books um, for those of you who do know me I, I am very big on financial magic and improving uh, your life financially uh, I do include my listing of five books uh, in that particular um, interview uh, Roderick does provide his five as well and so if you're looking for any type of uh, like a, any more information on on a new book that you may want or you're looking to find a new book um, go ahead and check out again cast vibration with Damon James and I believe he said it was going to break the video up into a, a couple segments again because just because it was like a i think a three hour take when we did it so i uh, again i do encourage you to check out the chaos vibration for that particular um subject and again check out far side of midnight if you are interested in all discussions related to occult and occult practices and with that i bid you very fine very well Peace and infernal blessings.